before we start modeling the first thing we want to do is go to customize preferences go to viewport and choose driver and choose direct 3d press ok ok and exit 3d max and restart it I'll pause it while it restarts alright once you get this menu up just let it as it is let it be click ok now once it loads up go to uh, customize again while it loads go to preferences viewport now go to configure uncheck this check this check this check linear click 512.124 and make sure everything it is like I have it click OK OK and now we're ready to begin now what you want to do is go to start and find where your blueprints are located then copy the folder path go to uh, assess browser under utilities and then what you do is just paste the link here which I already have now go to a plane set the segments to zero now we're going to start off with the front view right click go to properties I mean side view uh, for the length we use the last thing which is 1292 and for the width we use the first thing which is 49.48 click create Oh, we accidentally made it in the top view but click create again and now we have it in the side view delete the top one now right click on the top go to properties and now what we want to do is copy the 12 92 one well yeah and now since this is 4948 this one's 4943 it's uh there's a difference so what we're going to do is instead of putting 1994 we're going to do the math 8 minus 3 it's five, so five different. So what we're gonna do is one nine nine one four four. I mean one nine nine nine. to create, and that's our top view because we want everything line up perfectly. And now what we do is paste the old thing we copied. I mean we do one nine nine nine. Paste the one we copied in the top, and now we have a perfect blueprint setup press G and J in every viewport now move these apart like so click on this one click on the mirror copy okay now click mirror again Y and no copy or no clone now we just drag the blueprints there we go now it's good now press F3, F4 in every view and now we are ready to begin modeling now control S and save it as dodge charger and name the file 1 and now for the next part we're going to start modeling the charger